Hey, welcome back guys. So I'm out here again with my uh, Techno SL and uh, it's got a problem that I want to fix today. One of the things I don't like about it is the motor mount on these is a real pain in the butt. You basically have to take the diff out, this uh, this plate here off, and, and it takes a long time just to change out a pinion. Not sure why they did the mount this way. I mean, to me, this is a short course truck. It's designed to race. It's not designed to bash. I mean, to me, this would be a great setup if you're a basher because there really is nothing to come loose on it. It's extremely robust. It's, it's just not real practical if you're gonna try to race this thing and you wanna swap pinions out. And so what I wanna do is take this off and swap it out for this, which this is the motor mount that goes on the 410.2 buggy. And from what I hear, this should fit on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that. And so if you have one of these SLs and you're sick and tired of messing around with the, uh, the motor plate on there, when you, when you want to swap pinions out, well, this is, uh, this is going to be the video for you. Okay, everything's out. And I'm just checking the parts against each other here. Now, I do notice that you're not going to be able to use this screw on the, on the original mount. You're going to have to leave that one out, and you're just going to, going to have to go with two screws here to hold this whole thing in. I suppose if you wanted to, you could drill a hole right in there for this other screw. I'm not sure if that's necessary. I think I'll probably run it without it and see if it, see how it goes. If it's a problem, I may have to come back and drill another hole in that chassis so that I can mount that. But I'm gonna try it without it and see what, see what happens. Okay guys, I got that in there and you can see that it slides over and functions just fine. And it's, it seems very, uh, very sturdy. There's no movement in it at all, so I don't think that third screw not being in there is a big deal, honestly. So I think I'm just gonna go with it. I got it all put back together, and I, first off, it is a pain to get all this put back in here with the drive shaft. Everything's just so tight. You have to pull the differential up and basically hold your breath and bite your tongue, and then finally it'll go in there. Um, so I got that in there. I guess that's one benefit of going with this new, uh, with the motor mount here, is you won't have to screw around with that if you're uh, changing the pinions because it is a pain in the butt. That third screw, not gonna be an issue because everything else is holding that, this, uh, this, this motor bracket on there. The only issue, issue that I'm having is the pinion set screw here. You have to access it, I mean, you can't get it right here. I don't know if you can see that, but you can't get it right here because you can't get your, your, uh, your driver in there. And so there's a little spot right here. So if you want to set your uh, your pinion on your spur gear, get it even with it, you've got to put your, very hard to see here, but you'll have to slide that through there and you can get it, but I think I'm going to take a file and file this down right here. See, I've got that file down now and that gives me a lot more access to that set screw. Before it was just a struggle, uh, couldn't get it at the right angle. I was afraid I was going to, because I want to get these nice and tight, these set screws. So I was kind of afraid I was going to, strip out that pinion uh, set screw there. So with that little piece filed down there, uh, it, it works out great. So you may have to do that, maybe not, but don't be afraid to, I don't think it's gonna hurt anything. If you guys have done this yourselves, please let me know in the comments what you think. Appreciate you guys tuning in and thanks for watching.